Let's find some points to help balance the body, especially through times of uh, daylight transition, so seasonal and changing the clocks. So the first two points we're going to do are on the forearm, just a little bit behind the wrist. And these points help with this communication between the interior and the exterior of the body. So we're going for these um, broad strokes of balancing. And the first point, you're going to take three fingers from the wrist on the back side of your hand. And you want to be right about there. And you want to orient. Whoops, that doesn't help. You want to orient off the little finger side and you'll feel a little bit of a divot there. So that's triple warmer five. You want that point. And the other point is on the inside or the palmar side of the wrist. And that's also three finger widths from the wrist joint. And you want to be in between, in between the tendons here. So pretty much right in the middle. And you can hold both these points. And their names are Neguan and Waiguan, Inner Passage and Outer Passage, or Inner Gate and Outer Gate. So hooking these two up. Like this. Um, is making that connection. You're helping that circulation from in to out. Your chi does this. Um, several times a day. So uh, you can just facilitate that. Both sides, really easy. You can hold them for as long as you feel comfortable. You can give it a little light massage and pressure. And just try that. And I'm going to make sure the battery doesn't die on me here. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other two points are on the foot. And um, let's see if I can get an illustration here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so here's your ankle bone. Whoa, here we go. Ankle bone, inner and outer. Fine, inner and outer. And you want to be just below them. And again, holding inside and outside. Just below that and both sides give it a little light massage just a little pressure that feels comfortable now this is a different kind of linking so um, I don't remember the name of these points but they actually uh, are on meridians that meet here in the corner of the eye and these points um, have functions of helping to regulate uh, energy in the brain. Uh, specifically, um, they're used, uh, say, in cases of uh, insomnia or too much sleep. So kind of balancing how much energy. So insomnia, we'd say there's too much energy in the brain. We want to bring that down. If someone can't wake up and is, is heavy-headed, and sleeping all the time, they don't have enough energy in their head. Uh, these points are also used in uh, certain kinds of seizures, so that's an extreme imbalance of energy in the head. So that's another way you can balance um, this transition time, especially as we move more from summer into winter, these two extremes of the year. And the other point we had is something that I use myself. Um, so you find the ear, you find this little triangle uh, flap, and you just, I just put my fingers right in front of that. And I kind of quiet myself. You may or may not feel a pulse here, but just kind of settle in and bring your attention to how the um, connection between your finger and the skin in that area feels. 
and you may feel one side is more active than the other. If you do. So I'm feeling this side's more active. The more active side, I switch to my pinky, and the other side, I switch to my thumb. And that creates a polarity to uh, bring the energy from one side to the other. So the more active side has relatively more energy there. We want to balance it out. Uh, for the scientific minded, that's a potential gradient. And this point kind of helps balance the two halves of the brain. So we've got three ways to um, rebalance as we go into transition time.